So can you tell something about uh, gravitational waves in general? Gravitational waves uh, are ripples in, in space-time traveling the speed of light predicted by Einstein uh, in his uh, general relativity theory. What caused this gravitational wave you detected? There was a system of two massive black holes which were in the spiral phase, then in the merging phase, and then in the phase of the, of the ring down. And um, brings uh, the information about uh, masses and spin of the, of the two black holes. Knowing the mass, uh, we can infer the distance, we can determine the distance of the source. And translating in light years is more than one billion light years. And what is the technique used to detect gravitational waves? For this discovery, the technique is the one of laser interferometers. The principle of operation is quite simple. The light coming from a laser is divided by a beam splitter in two perpendicular arms and then there is a mirror at the end of this arm which uh, bounces back the, the, the light, uh, which composes again at the photodetector. Gravitational waves are arriving in pinging perpendicularly to the plane of the, of the laser interferometers. It has a very simple effect, uh, which is to, to elongate and contract one arm and to elongate and contract the other, but in opposite phase. So you are telling that uh, essentially a gravitational wave is stretching our space. Yes. And, and the interferometer is a way to detect this stretch. Exactly. Physicists looked for gravitational waves uh, for 100 years. So now, what, what is changing for physics? Well, uh, it is the beginning of a new astronomy, completely different from the traditional astronomy of the electromagnetic waves, where the messenger is the photon. We can compare gravitational waves to the sound waves here, and so the opening of this new mm, astronomical window, like if we are now able to listen to the universe, to hear the vibrations of the cosmos, to, to listen the music of the universe.